Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Yvonne and for today's video, I'm gonna be trying out this new tinted moisturizer that I received from Influencer. Um, and it is the one from Beauty Counter and it is their Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. So if you wanna see how it turns out, keep on watching. <laughs> so to begin I'm gonna start my makeup how I usually do and I'm gonna be going in with primer and I'm gonna be using the one from Ilya and like I always do I'm just gonna go ahead and focus I'm like running out I'm gonna just focus on my t-zone all right so skin is nice and prepped and I'm not gonna put on SPF since this one already has some and this is SPF 20. It has 14% zinc oxide. But yeah, this is the, and it looks like this. This is from Beauty Counter, and it is their Dew Face Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in the shade Medium. And I like their packaging. It has, I like the gold lid and the little tube. And it does have a pump, which is nice. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing half of my face. I'm gonna put it on with my fingers. And then the other half, I'm gonna put it on with a sponge just to see which way it applies better. It doesn't really have a scent. Um, it does feel a little like thick to the touch and you can see right away, even in your fingers, you can see right away that it's dewy. And as you can tell, you see that right there. This is a really dewy tinted moisturizer. It seems to be applying nicely with my fingers. A little bit more. And taking it down to my neck. I always take it down to my neck just because I like it to be like even. And like an even tone. Alright. So seeing how it applies with my fingers. Like I said, it feels thick on the fingers. But like once you put it on, you really can't feel it. You can see that it is very dewy as you can kind of like see right here um it has a very sheer finish very sheer um so it would be perfect for like those people that are going for like like that sheer natural skin like like your skin but better look in a way so on the other side i'm going to be going in with my beauty blender oh well, for my well it's not a beauty blender but my sponge Okay, so seeing how it applies with the sponge, it's very similar. The only thing is that the sponge absorbs a lot more of the product, but yeah, it's very, it's still very dewy. Um, the finish is the same, very sheer, very natural, um, very minimal coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to build it and see how it turns out. I mean, I never really build my tinted moisturizers just because, like, they're always, like, sheer or, like, very light coverage. So, let's see how this turns out. So, did a second layer, and it still looks very sheer. I'm very, like light coverage um i did notice that a little bit of the redness around my nose is um a little bit more covered it's less noticeable but like right here where i have like a tiny little like pimple i can kind of still see it well i can still see it um the dewiness you can see it i feel like it's a lot more noticeable like right there so for me i wouldn't be doing two layers just because my skin is like oily so i feel like this makes my skin look oily i would just do one layer for me but if you like that look that very dewy look then you go ahead and like do you you know everybody's different has a different styles different preferences but for me personally i would just do one okay so after doing that it does feel it does feel very light it feels nice on the skin um it doesn't feel like oily or anything like how I did it like once it was on my fingers. Like I said, it doesn't have a scent. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. 
I'm gonna be going in with my concealer and this is the one from Kosas and it is the shade 3.5 I kind of just I want to see how like the tinted moisturizer does with the rest of my makeup how it'll perform do a little bit of concealer just because I'm just gonna be home I'm not trying to I don't have anywhere to go so okay so the concealer is on it's also a very light coverage concealer just because I did I did put on a little bit but the dewiness of the tinted moisturizer goes through the um, concealer maybe because I only did a little bit of concealer but I can still see the dewiness from it um, I wouldn't maybe next time I wouldn't put the tinted moisturizer on like my eyelids just because I feel like they would make my eyeshadow oily but we'll put that to the test okay concealers on setting powder is next and this is the one from honest beauty let's see how the tinted moisturizer does with setting powder I mean if you don't want to like set it it's up to you but me I try to um, prevent my concealer from creasing throughout the day so I like to put on setting powder and since my like it it also um, helps keep my skin a little bit more matte or less oily throughout the day so for me setting powder is my friend okay so now that the setting powder is on it's still a little bit dewy I can kind of like I see it right here like on the high points on my of my face but like throughout the rest of my face it doesn't seem as dewy um, it does make it look more matte with the setting powder which I like my skin looks nice um it looks healthy doesn't look so dull because obviously it's a it's a dewy finish but yeah it looks nice it looks like it's um doing well with setting powder um but yeah all right so after powder i'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and you guys have seen me do my eyebrows a few times but i'm just gonna be going in with the fat in the moon eye coal and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back and the eyebrows are done and I'm just gonna be going in with bronzer now. And I'm gonna be using the one from Ilya. And take my bronzer blush, bronzer brush, and go ahead and just dab it on there. I'm not gonna be doing too much bronzer, just very, just to give my face a little bit more mention more of a bronzy look all right bronzer is on seems to be doing good on the tinted moisturizer it's not like it's not patchy or anything it's it applied really smoothly doesn't feel oily or anything well the tinted moisturizer doesn't feel oily feels nice um i can feel it though on my eyelids so maybe next time I just won't put any on there all right so that's that and I'm gonna be doing my I actually like how it's turning out because my skin like a natural like highlight looks nice okay guys sorry about that so apparently my memory card was full and it didn't film when I was putting on my blush and what I used for my blush was the Aire Paris um, carrot color pot in the shade holy and I just did what I always do just take a tiny bit and apply it on my cheeks and it seems to be um, wearing nicely over the tinted moisturizer um, and you can still see the dewiness from from it um, it looks pretty good to me and then I, I did do my eyes I'm not sure if the, the camera caught it or not I need to go back but anyways I did my eyes and I did use the bronzer from Ilya and I decided to do my eyes because I did apply some of the tinted moisturizer on my eyelids and I did mention that they felt kind of oily so I just wanted to see how like a powder would do over them and it seems to be doing okay um, it did kind of feel like I feel like it just kind of like made my eye my eyes more my eyelids a little bit more matte and but yeah note to self don't put tinted moisturizer on my eye on the 
on my eyelids just because they feel a little bit oily. All right, so that's that. And I was going in with the mascara from Physicians formula just to finish off the eyes. Okay. So that is that. Eyes are finished. I was thinking of using a highlight, but as you can see, it looks like I already have like, you know, that like natural glow. But I'm gonna just go ahead and go in with the um, highlight from Habit Cosmetics, and this is their Bright Lights Nourishing Cream Highlighter in the shade Star Child, and it looks, it's like a little purpley like um, highlight. And I'm just gonna be taking the smallest amount because these are pigmented and lightly putting it on my cheekbone. Okay, so you can still see the glow through it. Um, I did put some highlight on and you can see it. Well, I didn't put a lot, but you can kind of still see the highlight a bit. Well, you can see it more in the mirror. Well, I feel like the highlight just kind of like the glow underneath kind of intensifies the highlight. That's what I think. But I like how it looks. I'm actually, I'm loving how it looks. It looks really good. So the final touch would be lips. And this is from OG. And these are their... Hydroganic Sculpted Lip Oil and this is in the shade Nol Nolana and it just looks like that and these wear really good they're so smooth, so nice they feel very comfortable on the lips alright, so the face is done and this is what I think um, so far, first impressions I do like this um, just something I would do differently would be not to do two layers and just do one for me just because my skin's like oily and I feel like with one layer it'd be fine. Um, don't put on my eyelids just because I feel like they felt oily. Well, they did feel oily to me. So I'm just not put it on there. This is very, very dewy and it looks even more dewy when you put two layers. But like I said, I'll just be doing one. So it is in the shade medium and this retails for let's check the handy dandy phone all right so according to sephora this retails for 45 dollars and they seem to have one two three four five six shades um i think they need a lot more shades um i think their darkish the shade is deep dark tan light fair and medium which is what i have but they only have six shades I think they might need a little bit more um, but yeah it does say it works for all skin types and it does say it is a very light sheer tinted moisturizer so it's it's true what they what it says it's a very lightweight tinted moisturizer with a very dewy finish so yeah so far I'm liking it so I'm excited to try it out some more a few more times like you know when I go out when I'm like out in the heat just to see how it performs out there um, so I will keep you guys updated in another video just overall um, going into like a deep review because of beauty counter just because I also have one of their moisturizers that I'm trying out so I will be doing another video where I go in depth into that and also this just to some final thoughts that's it for today guys thank you so much for joining me in today's video i had fun doing it and i will see you in the next video